With me in the studio today is a geologist and mining expert, Professor Jens Gutzma, and he heads the Helmholtz Institute Freiburg for Resource Technology. Now, surprisingly, Professor Gutzma, Germany seems to have a lot of um, natural resources. What else can be exploited besides copper? There are a number of other mineral commodities that could be exploited in Germany, potentially, but you would have to first invest into some exploration to constrain what's in the ground, mm -hmm. and then we can calculate if it's worthwhile lifting that treasure. But what else could be found? Could there also be gold found or high-tech uh, metals? Yeah, there's definitely very good indications that we have some rare earth elements in Germany, in, in the east, and that uh, we also have some tungsten, definitely some tin, mm. and we could be actually quite an important producer for some of these metals. Remote sensing of metals in the ground has actually improved a lot. Can you always tell what's underground? You can't directly tell what's underground, but it gives you a good indication. And by looking at the physical properties of the rocks that are underground, I think with good resolution down to 500 meters maybe depth below the surface, uh, we, can, we can constrain where we need to drill to then find out what is really there. Mm -hmm. And what are the latest technologies to really peer into the ground? The latest technologies that are, have the highest potential are really electromagnetics that you, you know, use from a helicopter or from a plane and you pick up in quite high resolution how the crust, the earth, is set up underneath mm. you. Sounds pretty simple. Or do you still need a special nose to really detect it then? You, you need a special nose because you need several lines of evidence, of indirect evidence, because otherwise you'll spend all your money drilling into the wrong sort of haystack mm -hmm. to find the needle. Now, besides Germany, plenty of places around the earth seem to have untapped mineral resources. Will we ever run out of those metals? No, we will not run in, in, definitely not in our lifetimes, out of geological resources, but the quality of those re resources is decreasing and the environments under which we have to exploit them will become more and more difficult. Mm -hmm. And why can we actually just recycle metals a lot more? We, we can still recycle much more on the globe um, as a global economy, but there's a true demand for more mineral resources, in particular things like copper or steel, iron ore, because um, you build buildings out of them and you're not going to recycle those within five years. Mm -hmm. So there's more demand for more people on this planet. Of course. But at the same time, of course, with exploiting um, the resources, you have a certain impact on nature. So, for example, in eastern Germany, a lot of, a lot of effort has gone into reversing those uh, environmental damages done by the large-scale coal mining. So what's the impact of uh, mining for copper? Well, there's always an mining always has an impact on the environment. But if you do it wisely, if you plan it well, you can minimize this impact. Mm. And I think that you can be pretty close to a sustainable mining operation in the sense that there's no permanent damage, no harm to the environment. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Gutzmann. Pleasure.